If you enjoy this reading, please subscribe and give us a like. Thank you. Light is All Around Us by Wendy Pepper Illustrated by Paul Measle Click! It's a stage two book, The World Around Us. Let's read and find out science. Light is found in many different forms and many different places. It travels from the sun and the stars. It lights up the sky, the sea, and our backyards. Windows glow, car lights shine, signs flash on and off, bridge lights sparkle. Sometimes jagged bolts of lightning fill the sky and brightly colored fireworks explode on the 4th of July. During the day, light from the sun brightens our world, but the sun is 93 million miles away. How does its light get here? Light travels to Earth in waves of electromagnetic radiation, a kind of energy that travels through space. These waves travel so fast we can't even see them move. In one minute, light from Earth could travel back and forth to the moon 46 times. Cars on highways travel about one mile a minute. Passenger jet planes travel eight miles a minute. Sound waves travel 13 miles a minute. Light travels over 11 million miles a minute. Nothing travels faster than light. In addition to measuring how fast light is, we can also measure it to find out how bright it is. Look, Sparky, you're 32 inches long. To find out how long something is, we measure it in inches. To find out how hot something is, we measure it in degrees. We measure time in minutes and weights in pounds. Oh my, you have a fever of 102.7 degrees. Well done, you ran a mile in six minutes. My prize pumpkin weighs 82 pounds. Light is measured in lumens. The light bulb used for reading is usually 1,750 lumens. Sunlight is 35 lumens. Not bad, but I'm way brighter. Click, 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 click. That's 35 octillion lumens, more than all the light bulbs on Earth turned on at the same time. That's why you should never look directly at the sun. It can hurt your eyes. The sun sends the brightest light, but not all the light comes from the sun. People build fires, light candles, or turn on electric lights. Some people use a night light in their bedroom. Sometimes flashlights light the way in the dark. People in the West Indies used to poke holes in gourds. Fill them with fireflies and use them as flashlights at night. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's dark down there, Rusty. Just as fireflies glow in the dark, some fish glow in the water. They light up to find a mate, confuse enemies, or lure food. An octopus has been discovered that glows. Its blue-green light attracts tiny sea animals. The octopus's blue-green glow is a chemical light, like the yellow-green glow sticks children carry on Halloween. Light is important. It lets us see. Close your eyes. Since all the light can't get into your eyes, you don't see all that's around you. Open your eyes. Light comes into your eyes and you see the world with its beautiful colors. Here's how light helps you see. 
When light waves hit an object, they bounce off. When they bounce off, we say they reflect. Reflect means that they change direction. You see a cat because light waves reflect off the cat to your eyes. Meow. Here is a diagram of your eye. Pupil, cornea, iris, retina, lens, optic nerve, muscle. Meow. Light waves enter your eye through the pupil in the center of the colored iris. The waves pass through the lens and form a picture on the retina at the back of your eye. Nerves carry the picture to your brain and it tells you what you see. This chart is called messages from your eyes to your brain. If your eyes are looking at a cat, the light reflecting from the cat hits the retina of your eye. The image formed on the retina of the left eye and the image formed on the retina of your right eye come together and through the optical track tell your brain you what you're looking at. Day or night, light helps us watch the world and its wonders. Just look and see. <laughs> Danger alligators! If you enjoyed this book, please give us a thumbs up. Also, hit the bell and subscribe so you'll know when the next show comes up. You can find out more about light. There's a lot of experiments you can try. You can prove that plants need light. You can find and make shadows. Which shadow is longer? Your morning shadow or your noon shadow. Watch out! Your shadow may chase you. Do an experiment and see. Uh, gee, Martha, do you see what I see? That bum there is a spider. The reason I know is because the sunlight is reflecting into my eyes the shape of the spider. It's amazing, don't you think? Oh, yes, it sure is. Uh-huh. At Tumski and Mrs. Small, look for other science and math books that have been read on our channel. See you soon.